Welcome back at 848. We have seen devastating flooding uh, down in the south, Louisiana especially. So uh, take a look at this home and look closely at this picture. It, it, you notice it's got something surrounding it. Yeah. If you see that. So you see the house. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see the, the green lawn behind the house. Mm -hmm. And then outside of that green lawn, you see all this flooding. Yeah. It, and in between the water and the home is something called an aqua dam. Mm -hmm. So the homer, homeowner uh, in South Texas. South Texas thought something he saw online. It was called, like you said, an aqua dam. It's a rubber tube that you fill with water and it kept the flood floodwaters at bay. It looks like the rubber dam that used to be out of mm -hmm. Tempe Town Lake. And remember that we had that, basically it was a bladder that they filled with water. Yep. And just the gravity of it and holding it down is what kept it in place, kept the water behind it. So people are saying this could be something that could help a lot of people with flooding right now. And Nick Angeloff, who's the CEO of Aqua Dam, joins us on the phone to tell us more about this. Uh, it seems like a very cool product. Thank you for being here. Um, tell us exactly how it works. No, thank you for having me. Um, effectively, what we do is we have a plastic inner tube, uh, two of them, uh, inside a geotextile cover with a baffle in the middle for stability. Um, we fill them with water, uh, as from anywhere from a garden hose to a six inch pump, um, utilizing the flood water themselves, uh, itself to, uh, fill the dam. Oh, that's interesting. So oh, you take it, you stick your pump in the flood waters and raise it up. So, uh, explain to me how this, okay, so I'm living in an area that I know floods every once in a while. Do you put something like this up for the whole season or is this something you, when a storm's coming, you put it up? How does it work? No, we, they're reusable. You can roll them up after use. Uh, you store them in your garage mm -hmm. or uh, out outbuilding um, until you're ready to use them, and then uh, you uh, put them up when the time is needed. There have been uh, an example is a uh, uh, Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant uh, in Nebraska uh, leaves them up year round. But for the general homeowner, we uh, recommend that they put them out when they need it. So how long is the setup for something like this? It really depends on the size of the dam. Um, if we're looking at a one foot dam, you can fill something up uh, in a couple hundred feet, 300 feet in about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, a six foot high dam uh, it will take substantially longer, of course, uh, hey. but far, far quicker than sandbags. So we have uh, some areas here in Phoenix that will flood from time to time when we get the big monsoon storms that come in and dump a lot of water at once. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if there was like a normal size home, say like a, a 13 or 1400 square foot home uh, down in South Mountain Phoenix, what would it cost you to, to get one of these dams around it? Um, it really depends. You have to have a walk space between the building uh, and the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can make sure that uh, there's some uh, maneuverability. Uh, to deal with uh, low spots, et cetera. Uh, they, don't, uh, they seal well on flat ground, um, but if there's any obstructions in the way, uh, say a gutter uh, or some gravel in a driveway, uh, there'll be a small amount of leakage. So you need to have a pump on the inside pumping water out as well. Um, uh, but uh, you know, we're looking at the gentleman in Rochere in Texas who uh, protected his home, one of 5,000 that were saved, um, mm -hmm. or one of the only one of 5,000 that was saved. Uh, it cost him about $8,000 to protect his home. Okay, and that was the investment in buying that, but then again, you said it's reusable, so when he's all said and done, the floodwaters have receded, he'll roll it up, put it away until it's needed again. Correct, and well, he saved himself about one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars worth of repair work. Right, of course. So, so, how would we go about? How do we find you guys? If we want to learn uh, more about it. We have a, a website: www.aquadam.net, um, and our toll-free phone number is one eight hundred six eight two nine two eight three. Nick Angeloff, thank you so much from Aquadam. Interesting idea. Yeah, it really is. Thanks for talking with yeah. us this morning. I appreciate it. And I can yeah, see a lot of, thank you. I mm -hmm. can see a lot of um, people in some areas where, you know, it floods over and over and over again. If they have that flat ground, mm -hmm. it might be worth the investment. Well, especially like he said, the difference between spending $8,000 versus over $150,000 that you would probably have to spend. Right. And that I would imagine some people, depending on where they live, probably have a hard time getting flood insurance, period. Exactly. Even if they wanted to get mm -hmm. it.